fellow hobbyists, collectors, and preheads like I want to welcome you to my channel, Predator Collectibles, and I am your host, Glennon Taylor, and we take a look at pretty much anything that you can collect as a fan of the Predator franchise, from action figures, comic books, statues, prop replicas, it'll all be right here on my channel. Now, on today's video, it's been a while since I've done this. Normally, I would actually be trying to do a mystery box from Loyal Subjects, but on today's video, we're actually going to be doing six total mystery boxes from Titan and I've been really wanting to do a display case. Now unfortunately I was only able to acquire six of them which I think is about half the display case. So I think you get a total of 12 in a display case total. So I'm actually be doing six of the mystery boxes to figure out which kind of predator figures I can get out of the six on today's video. So without further ado I'm going to go ahead and open those boxes. I'm going to go a little bit more further detail into the moving aspect to Oregon, uh, but let's go ahead and start this video regarding a mystery unboxing from Titan. Alright, so sorry for the bad lighting, but this is the closet that I have cleaned out thus far. I'm still trying to pack all the art prints or in their tubes, masks, a mask on the floor, small little intricate loyal subjects, tie, and so I gotta pack my clothes. So this is what I have so far in packing to go into Oregon to be with my son. Okay, so I already showed you the closet. That's what I have unpacked thus far. The closet originally was slap full of Predator stuff. And I know a lot of people have been asking me to try to do a room tour. That hopefully will be much more further down the road as soon as I get my own place. Now that I'll be moving, it hasn't been really truly confirmed. I still have to find a place to stay. It's a lot harder to find a place to stay now because of the forbearance on residential properties, tenants who can't be evicted at this point, but we'll have to wait and see when that happens. But again, on today's video, I have six mystery boxes from Titan, and again, these are Alien vs. Predator themed. I do have my Alien vs. Predator shirt that I got from Loot Crate, and I'll leave that video uh, at the end of this particular video. So if you're interested in what I got out of that box, technically, it's a spoiler alert, all I got was a shirt. But I'm really happy to see what we got in these boxes, so let's see what we have in all six of them. Alright, so I have the first box, and I think these retailed for about $5.99 or $6 a piece. And I'm really anxious and excited to do this, mainly because it's just been very stressful. I hate moving. It's very expensive, but you know, it is what it is. So I want to take my mind off of the moving process and open up some of these boxes, I haven't bought anything to my collection yet, so I'm really happy to get something small, something affordable, and something to do on this channel. So I have the first bag open. I'm trying to see if I can feel what it is first without spoiling anything. I can't tell, I think this is a predator. I hope it's a predator. It is a predator. All right, and it is all right. So I have Celtic, and his spines on the back, which are also accurate. Uh, really cool and cute. His head does in fact move, and his arms do, of course, move as well. But I do have the Celtic predator. I love the sculpt on the Celtic Predator bio mask. It is very accurate to how Titan did on the bio helmet and his skulls. Like I said, the skulls are bendable and flexible because they're made out of vinyl. The arms do move, his head moves, and I think that's pretty much it, all it moves for the Titan figures. But I'm very glad to open up my very first Predator. I don't have a Celtic Predator in my collection, not in the scale of three and a half inches anyway. So I think that with the spines on his back, the fact that they are bendable, I do like that because they can't break. But if I'm not, you know, obviously too careful, uh, they will break. And I think it's kind of interesting on how they went ahead and depicted the staffs to be just as equal to his dreads. But eh, either which way. And I have the Celtic Predator. So moving on to the next box. Hopefully, these are all predators out of the six. But more than likely, they may be duplicates. If there's a duplicate involved, 
uh, what I want you to do is to leave me a comment down below. If I do in fact have a duplicate and you don't have any in your collection, it's a first come first serve for those that want to collect this line. I don't have a problem with milling these out. So let's see what the second bag is. Oh, no. It's a human. And I have Bishop Wayland. So I do like his face sculpt. And I do like his outfit. And this is pretty simplistic because it is a somewhat of a mock up of Lance Hendrickson, who did play Charles Bishop Wayland in the movie. And I did actually get a chance to meet Lance Hendrickson. Very awesome, very down to earth, sweet guy. I can't speak nothing but volumes of how nice he is in person. I met him about maybe two, two yeah, twice, <laughs> sorry, uh, if not three times. The pictures that I'm showing you now, I met him twice uh, with those opportunities, but I do have Lance Hendrickson as Charles Bishop Wayland for uh, the figure. So that is definitely not a duplicate, so that's cool. I'm actually curious if in this third box might be Alex. Again, I'm hoping for more Predators. If I can get Alex, and now I have Lance, and the rest of the Predators, I'll be happy. I was going to try to feel it, but, you know, let's see what we have. All right, and we got another Predator. And we got the Unmasked Scar, so that's pretty cool. It's actually kind of interesting on how this came about because it's based upon one of his dreadlocks and I'm showing it here in the image or camera. It seems like one of his dreadlocks kind of is a little translucent, which is interesting because I don't think that's supposed to be that way. But I am very happy to have a unmasked scar. So that's cool. I actually have a giant uh, six inch version of him. So that's actually kind of interesting and cool. So yeah. I have the unmasked scar. Can't complain. Two predators, one human. So open up now the fourth box. So again, these are sealed. I don't know if you can hear or see that. I've never opened these before, obviously. So. Oh, and I got an alien. Right, which alien is this one? So I do have the grid alien. That's a bummer. And you might say, you know, if you're an alien fan, I'm sorry, but you know, I'm not a huge alien fan, but I do have the grid alien, and he does have a nice good sculpted head, and he does have the grid or netting cuts on top of his dome. So yeah. Nothing really to say about grid. Except for he is definitely accurate in detail and I love how Titan does capture each individual character's personality in these tiny little three inch or two and a half inch figures. So it is really cool to have Grid. But if you're by any chance an Alien fan, I'll give you Grid. I have no uh, reason to keep him. I do also have the Pred Alien that was given to me as a gift. So I don't think I'll get rid of Pred Alien just because it was given to me as a gift. So I'm hoping the last two in this is Predators. I really want the Thermal Vision Predator. I'm actually hoping to get um, Celtic and the Thermal. If I can get Thermal Scar and the Celtic. Wait, did I say this was Celtic? I meant Chopper. I'm sorry. Yeah, this is actually the Chopper Predator. I'm sorry, I'm tired. Yeah, Chopper Predator I actually have. And I do have another Predator. <laughs> this is the Celtic. All right, now we're cooking. And, oh, that's right. Completely forgot these came with their spears. So this one came with a spear. I don't, I have to double check the other bags. There, yeah, okay. There's a pickaxe for Bishop. I don't want to throw those away. 
make sure I don't throw away anything important out of the bags. All right, some more spears. Yeah, now I have a Celtic. So I do really like the Celtic. I got those two confused. You would think as a prayer expert that I got confused with the Celtic and Chopper. But yeah, so I do have the Celtic Predator. Really awesome sculpt. He does have the claw marks on his bio mask from the Great Alien. So it's kind of interesting on how I have both now the Great Alien and the Celtic Predator all together. So I may very well keep the Great Alien just because I do have the Celtic and it does have his claw marks from where Grid did scratch the Celtic's bio helmet. But you know, I, in this case, leave me a comment down below if you think I should keep both the Great Alien and the Celtic being since I now have them together. But overall, yeah, I do like the Celtic Predator overall. So, so far I can't complain. I have all three Predators and I have Bishop Wayland and I have the Great Alien. Cool. Let's open up the last box. Let's see what we have. I'm hoping it has to be that formal Predator. So far I've been getting most of the Predators, so I'm really happy about that. And this is... <laughs> okay, if that's who I think it is, it, okay. I have Alexa. I have Alexa Woods. That's pretty dope. All right, so I have Alexa Woods, and I do like how she has the scar marking on the side of her cheek. I do like her face sculpt. I really do like her hair, and I really do like how she looks uh, as far as accurate to the actress that played her. You have to forgive me, I'm not really good with names, especially with her. I haven't seen her in any other films other than Alien vs. Predator, but overall I do like how she has her red outfit from the Arctic. And she does, like I said, have that scar marking on the side of her cheek, just like it is in the film. And yeah, so I have, again, Alexa Woods. And she does come with the spear, which is the alien tail spear. So that's actually pretty cool. So I have all of the Predator characters. I again have Celtic Chopper, and I have Unmasked Scar. Uh, I'm not really caring about having an, a mask scar because technically I already have a bigger masked scar from Loot Crate and I have, like I said, the Great Alien. So overall I'm very excited and happy to have what I wanted out of the collection. I have everything that I wanted out of the six boxes. So if by any chance you don't have the Titan figures, I definitely recommend them. I will also leave up here more Titan reviews that I've done of the bigger variety of the Wolf, the Mask Scar, I also did a San Diego Comic Con exclusive, which is the Jungle Hunter. Technically it's the Scar painted as the Jungle Hunter, but the paint app on that is amazing. But I really do want to thank you for your patience with me during this transition. It's been a long and hectic ride for me to try to get a place to stay in Oregon. And I'm also trying to see what I can do for content, being since more likely I'll be staying in someone else's home, having a room to myself but every other aspect of the living situation will be shared. So if I don't have any other content to provide other than perhaps the live streams, which I will have definitely a live stream at the end of this month to give you all of what I'm going through for this move, I will also be putting up a vlog on my personal channel, which I will also leave a link down there for the description below. For my personal channel, it's simply again, just Glenn and Taylor. And I do wanna thank you for your support. This move will mean a lot more content because I'll be bumping up my income. I will have my own place. There will be a room tour hopefully involved with that once I'm able to get my own place once all money is saved up. So again, I just want to thank you for your support. And if you are a Predator fan like me, make sure you hit that subscribe button as well as the bell notification. It does help you to be notified when videos are uploaded from this channel. And if you like unboxings and mystery minis from Titan or any other companies, leave me a thumbs up because it does help out this channel until I see you at the end of this month for the live stream relation to the move and transitioning from one job to another. I will see you then and happy hunting.